good afternoon. So we're here in Ambridge, Pennsylvania. A giant skeleton now that was once, well, one of the centers of the steel industry in Beaver County, one of the leading steel industries of the world with plants such as American Bridge, Armco Steel, AM Byers, H.H. Robinson, quite a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. Uh, what's interesting though, before it was a still town, it was actually settled by a group of Christians who were persecuted by the Lutheran Church from Germany called the Harmonites. Its founder was George Rath, and because of their business skills and their land acquisitions that they had purchased here in Beaver County that you're going to see here in a moment, they were able to establish themselves and establish businesses and therefore establish a reputation here in Beaver County that would eventually lead other people to acquire businesses here in Beaver County. Textiles and mills, sawmills, breweries, all started by a group of German immigrants known as the Harmonites. The Harmonites were a staunch abolitionist group and as a result of that they did not get along with their neighbors very well for people who were for slavery and there was a lot of that in Beaver County. Not everybody was an abolitionist and it didn't settle well and, the, and as a result of that the Harmonites to make a long story short, acquired some enemies and their businesses were not as profitable for them as they once were as the tensions surmounted here in Beaver County with the division of people who were for slavery and people who were against slavery. But in the end, it proved to be a worthwhile pursuit here to come into this part of Beaver County established businesses, commerces, and homes, and trades, and like I said, it would bring in a lot of people from elsewhere to come in here and set up shop, if you will. Many immigrants came here because of the steel mills, like American Bridge and Armco, as I said earlier. A lot of immigrants from Eastern Europe, Western Europe, they would all congregate here on the main drag, which you're seeing right now, that is Merchant Street. Not quite what it used to be, but still very much alive and kicking. This is the heart of Beaver County when it comes to steel mills. Ambridge is every bit of steel town as Eloquipa and Midland and Beaver Falls. No mistake about it. The beams that are composed of what is known as the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, those bridge beams were made here, right here in this town. Here is a it's Citizens Bank now, but this is the original Mellon Bank. Mellon Bank of Pennsylvania, or Pittsburgh. Some of the old buildings are still here. A lot of the businesses are not. Some of them are. They come and go over the years. But what you're seeing here is a typical southwestern Pennsylvania steel town. For those of you who are not familiar with Pittsburgh steel industry, well, this is a steel town the remnants of it anyway. Still is no longer the economic claim as it once was in Beaver County. And you can see that by just walking around here and see how many of the businesses have fold up. But how much is still preserved here, historically, commercially. It's all here. This was all built by the steel mills. Even a lot of the churches in Ambridge were built by the steel mills. American Bridge donated a lot of property and steel beams for the structure of these churches. To make sure that these churches would be built, they donated them free of charge. So Ambridge has a lot of history here. It was settled by Harmonites. It eventually turned into a steel industry. And that kept up for many, many years. Now we are on Maplewood Avenue. A lot of this now broken. 
but we are approaching the famous Maple Restaurant. If you have not eaten at the Maple Restaurant, you're letting some seriously good food pass you by. There it is right there. That's it. I'm trying to drive and film at the same time. Please forgive my sudden twists and turns. But yes, this is the heart of what happens. This is a primary example of what happens when an industry in your town is dominant and then it subsides. It collapses and it vanquishes forever. And what you're left with is remnants of a town that was quite proud to call itself a still town. There is a wonderful website on YouTube of a man that I had some communication with through email. Uh, you can Google it. It is called the Rust Belt Boy. And this gentleman has taken it upon himself to preserve a lot of photos and write some really wonderful stories about the history of this town and what it contributed to the development of Beaver County and the world for that matter typically the Industrial Revolution, which Beaver County played a major role in. And um, you can check that out. Just Google Rust Belt Boy and you'll come to his website. I, Off the top of my head, I don't know the exact address of his website or I would give it to you. But if you just type in Rust Belt Boy, you'll find his website. And it's really worth checking out. And I'm sure a lot of the citizens here in Ambridge know exactly what I'm talking about. Definitely worth a look at. He's done a wonderful job on that website. And I give him full credit for it. I'm just amazed that this town still has color to it. And I'm, I'm not saying that to be facetious in any way or anything. I, I, I'm pleased that it still has a lot of life left to it yet, and it does. And there's a lot of hope here because it still has the potential, in my view, to establish a lot of good businesses here. And it has. It has survived the still collapse. Ambridge is still a good town, still good folks live here. But again, uh, for those of you who are new to my channel and you do not live nowhere near Pennsylvania and you have a history with the history of Pittsburgh and the steel industry, I am taking you through a town now that served that capacity to its fullest. You are in the heart, my friends of still country. Maplewood Avenue has not changed that much. It's been a few years since I've been here. And there's the lovely Lachlan Library in the corner there. Look at that big beautiful building built by the founders of Jones and Lachlan Stool Corporation. Yes. Mr. Lachlan was very generous with this town. Look at this. We're driving on a brick road. Can you believe that? Ambridge still has some brick roads. That in itself is amazing. They have a tendency to sink in, but you never get potholes on these roads. Not very many brick roads left in Beaver County. I'm driving on one right now. I was certain that this road was paved. <laughs> it's not. It's amazing. So let me show you quickly. The location of Old Economy, which is, is known as, which is the uh, last settlement of the Harmonites. At first they settled in uh, Harmony, Pennsylvania, near Zillianople. Then they went and moved out to Indiana. And there is their church up there that they built. That is the church that you see. And there is the sign. Okay. We're driving through it right now. This is their establishment. This is where they lived and resided and went to church and prayed and lived their lives. 
and made wonderful contributions to the town of Ambridge as we know it. The Harmony Society Church. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on that so you can read it. If I can, I'll give you a brief tour of the buildings that are still intact. These were built in the early 1800s, ladies and gentlemen. Still cared for, still preserved by the Pennsylvania Museum, I believe. A little bit of a colonial architecture to them. I do believe the church still, yes, the church still has services. It's St. John's Lutheran Church now. This way. Turn for you. Driving on Church Street right now. As you can see, Ambridge still has some wonderful cultural locations that are worth checking out, that are worth visiting on a daily basis, that are worth writing about telling about and certainly preserving. That site there was the old Avenue. What I did is I basically took you on Merchant Street, Maplewood Avenue, Dust Avenue, which I know most Ambridge residents won't agree with me, but I think those are the three main drags in Ambridge. Feel free to disagree, that's all right. I'm just trying to give you a general tour of the town. Lots of good history here. It's a shame that a lot of it is gone. 50, 60 years ago, it would be like being in downtown Pittsburgh, where I'm driving right now. Thousands of people walking around during shift change of all the mills. Wives picking up their husbands, children greeting their fathers from work. All carefully preserved, mysteriously back in the past waiting to be written about. Seriously considering doing my own historical analysis of each town in the county and donating quite a bit of writing time to it. But maybe I'll save that from my retirement. I got enough writing projects right now that I'm too involved in. I couldn't possibly start that, but I don't mind making videos. trying to give you a brief historical description of each town. There's Ambridge Lumber, I think, is still in business. Yes, it is. There's Kim K. Janice's Calf Cafe and Catering, really good place to eat. Just gonna shit out in front of me, that's alright. Amerigas, that's old business. Ashland, I think it's still in business. Hollywood Sports Bar and Grill there to my left. U.S. Air Force recruiting, the old station there was on my left. And some of the old remnants of the still in the street here. I don't know if you can hear me speak. Oh, 
about all that's left. O'Neill, the metals company now. Not certain who runs that or who is. Okay, folks, so stay tuned for my next video. Let me know what you think of this video. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a holler out. Comments are welcome. Until next time, I hope you're enjoying your weekend. It's really warm here, and I will talk to you later. Bye.